Um, how do you, when you evaluate a deal, um, you know, I, I mostly do single family homes and they're, I think I run the numbers a little bit different than you guys probably do. So what, what is it that you're looking at when you look at a deal? Like what makes it a deal for you? I mean, you could go through example numbers or maybe just certain characteristics or, you know, what is yeah. it? I mean, we, we've always wanted to get into more multifamily deals, like just understanding just the math, you know, just the more doors you have, the easier it is to cash flow in general, you know, all other things equal, right? Um, and it, it, it's, it's easier to manage. So really what it comes down to is how many, what's the max amount of doors that we can do now with our cash flow or with, or with the resources that we have. Um, to get that experience and to get that cash flow generated to where we can start, you know, buying a, you know, a 15 unit, a 20 unit, a 50 unit. Um, and so when we look at it, um, we're buying, we're typically looking at distressed properties where we can, okay, if it's, if it's selling for, say for instance, in, in Springfield the area that we're, we've bought, um, three multifamilies, um, if it's, selling for $50 a square foot, um, then do I feel like I can get whatever rehab is needed to be done? Do I feel like I can get <coughs> the rehab done? Typically stuff's selling for at least 125 a square foot. So do I feel like I can get, you know, you know, 30 to $40 a square foot, get everything done and, you know, get it refinanced. Um, you know, so that's one way to look, just look at the asset, but then also the cash flow that potentially from the asset. So for example, we have a duplex that, you know, is, a, it's a good investment. It's, uh, it's should be, this is all like projections because it's not finished and the short term, we, it's not on the market, but if it does similar to another property that we have just across the street, then it will yield um, about 40% cash on cash. Um, which is phenomenal, right? And this is like year one, right? And yeah, yeah. And then the other unit that's a four unit, that's closer to like you know triple digit cash on cash. Um, of course, there's a lot of assumptions that go into that, but uh, you know, it's just a matter of we're able to get those the the more units that we have at you know as long as it's a certain price point, then just it's easier for it to cash flow. I, don't know if that I see. Yeah, yeah, it, it it does. Um, and so, in addition to cash on cash, like what what on a typical unit, what would your monthly cash flow be that you're targeting? Like after all your expenses and set asides, what's the the number that you're comfortable um, with take home? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what we're comfortable with, but the one that we have. Mm -hmm in operation is about $1,500 a month for, wow. the, for the one unit. That's amazing. So yeah, like if we, we, we just kind of apply like, okay, if, if we can do one unit at $1,500, then, and that's after all expenses, like, yeah, you know, debt, debt, everything, you know, nothing like cleaning fees, platform fees, all that stuff. Um, if we could do that, like per unit, then it's, We're you can, because people don't look at like, you know, for most of the properties in Springfield, for for example, they're selling for like a, a single family selling for 125 to $150 a square foot. Well, a duplex, <coughs> a triplex or quadplex sells for discount because it's a different a buyer. Like you're for a single family, you have you're competing with, you know, other or pretty much the entire population. Mm -hmm. Whereas multifamily, you're only, you're only, you're only competing with investors for the most part. You know, you have your occasional yeah. house, hacker. house hacker. Yeah. But that's yeah. so they're, they're an investor. So they're going to be focused on the numbers more. Um, and so you're kind of given your, there's a, there's a, a limit that you're going to be able to like, get out of that property unless it's already generating cash flow and you can just sell it based on, you know, some sort of, you know, return, but usually that's not the case. Right. So. Okay. Yeah. Th those are phenomenal numbers. I mean, think about, you know, big apartment complexes. A lot of times people are like a hundred bucks, 200 bucks a door and they're, they're happy. Yeah. So if you can, you know, do less doors, but make 1500 bucks of profit on each one, that's, that's awesome. Hey, huge thanks to Jared and Carly for coming on the show. 
They are a super sharp couple, and in the full interview, they share how they transitioned from their previous corporate jobs into running their rental properties full time. And that and then they talk about how they're transitioning again now in this new COVID-19 environment. So if you want to listen to the full interview, you can search for it on any podcast player, whether that's iTunes or Spotify or however you listen to your podcasts, you can search for the Living Off Rentals podcast and it will pop right up. Or you can go go on over to the Facebook group, the Living Off Rentals Facebook group, and continue the conversation with Jared and Carly there, and, and or some other really smart rental property investors that hang out there. So I hope to see you there. If not, I will see you in the next video.